Hi, this is Mrs. C, and today we're going to do a math lesson on mean, mode, and median. The unit of study is understanding and describing the distribution of a set of data. The title of the lesson is Mean, Mode, and Median. The past few days, the students and I have done lessons on mode and median, and today we're going to discuss and review the concept of mean. The objective is how to find the mean of a data set and the standard for this lesson is 6SP2, which is understanding that a set of data collected to answer a statistical question has a distribution which can be described by its center, spread, and overall shape. The, today's vocabulary word is mean, and the assessment that we're going to be doing is on summit math, which is statistical mean, or the average, and the extension is a homework assignment. Now the students for the assessment will be going to my website, Turo A. Charolambus, and they will click on Summit Math, and on the web page they will scroll down and click on Summit Plan, and the topic that we will be doing is as we scroll down, statistics, statistical mean or average. The students will click here and then they will start the practice. And at the end when they are done, they're going to re report their totals, do a printout and they will give it to me and I will be able to get their grade on what their per total percentage is correct. So this is gonna be one of the assessments. Now for the lesson, For the lesson, we are going to look at uh, discussing the mean. So, how do you find your grade in math class from looking at uh, test scores? In this lesson, you will learn how to describe the distribution of data by finding the mean. Let's review. When looking at data, you can talk about median or middle number in this data set, the median is 5, or the mode or the answer given most often. In this case, it's a 2. A common mistake that most students make is confusing the median, mode, and mean because they all begin with the letter, with the letter M, and they all sound alike. Some students remember the mean or average as the meanest because it requires the most calculations. But the mean is the number that is a balancing point where half of the data is on one side and the weight of the other half on the other side, like this scale. Let's look at an example to understand the meaning of mean. Joe, Kylie, and Leticia each have some blocks, but Joe and Leticia have four blocks each, and Kylie only has one. Imagine that Joe, Kylie, and Leticia decide they want to share the blocks equally. They could trade blocks until everyone has the same amount. If Joe and Leticia each give Kylie one block, they will all have three. The mean is the number that each person gets when all of them are shared equally. Here's another way to look at the mean. Let's look at it another way. If Joe, Kylie, and Leticia want to share the blocks, they could begin by putting all the blocks together. Next, they need to split them into three equal shares for the three people. We're dividing the whole set into equal shares. Finally, each person gets an equal share. Now all three people have three blocks each, so the mean of the blocks is three. Okay, so let's go back to our original question. How do you find your grade in math class from looking at test scores? In this case, making stacks of 96 or 85 blocks would take too long. So we would, so, so we're trading back and forth. So if we, if we use these ideas from the second strategy and combine all the numbers into one stack, we can then share them equally. After we have added all the numbers, we get a sum of 616. And that is the total number of points earned from seven test scores. We want to share those points with all seven tests equally. And when we divide 
616 by 7 to make 7 equal groups. Each of the test scores received 88 points, so the mean of the data is 88. So, let's go continue. How old were you when you lost, first lost your tooth? Again, adding the numbers and then dividing is easier than trading until the numbers are the same. Note that we do not need to put them in any order first and we can just add them in any order. The total is 55 and then divide by 10 because we had 10 original answers. That answer gives us five and a half or five and a half years. Makes, this, makes sense because all the numbers are, in, are within one and a half of it. It is important to note that the mean does not have to be a number that is in the original data set. Continuing, the students will then will be able to do this question on their own. How many pets do you have? And from there, that will be another assessment.